Hello, my name is Aaron. I am a certified life coach, mindfulness and meditation practitioner, and mindset guru. In this video, I'm going to be guiding you through an EFT routine for letting go of an unsupportive habit. Now, this could mean different things for different people, so I am going to try my best to leave blanks and just allow you to fill it in like I normally do, but you'll see that within the sentences and the things that I'm saying, I'm also going to try to leave blanks there for you to fill in with whatever it is that you're doing and whatever it is that you want to do. So go ahead and make sure you have those two things in mind. Whatever it is that you're doing that you feel like you should not be doing for some people that may be eating junk food or smoking cigarettes or, you know, drinking or whatever it may be. And then something else that you feel like you should be doing. You know, this is what I should be doing. This is the supportive habit habit that I want to develop. So go ahead and have those two things in mind. Um, if you haven't yet watched the first video, I would highly advise that you start there. Um, it's going to give you the intro and the overview of EFT, and then, uh, you can still continue along with this video, but start there. Um, if you are ready, let's go ahead and begin the, the routine. Okay. So let's go ahead and start here on the karate chop point. I'm going to tap and talk, and you're going to just tap and repeat after me, filling in any blanks. Even though I have been, and name your unsupportive habit here, even though I have been, or I have been engaging in, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I have been, or have been engaging in, fill in the blame. I completely love and accept myself. Even though I have been or I have been engaging in, I completely love and accept myself. And let's begin. Lately, I have been feeling And I know this really isn't supporting me in my life right now. I know I'm supposed to be doing more. I have commitments, I have goals. I have things that I really want to do in life. And right now, the thing that's holding me up is I know I shouldn't be engaging in this. But if I'm being honest, it can be a little difficult for me to let it go. I feel, in a way, attached to it. I feel comforted by it. I know what's going to happen when I engage in this. When I do this, you can name it. So it gives me a sense of control. But I know it's a false sense of control. I know it's, it's not better than what I really want. And that's the part that's frustrating for me. I'm engaging in a habit that I know is not better than what I really want. But it's hard for me to let it go. But the thing is... I know there's better for me. I know that what I truly want, and you can name that if you know what it is. 
what I truly want is to This is what's going to give me more purpose. This is what's going to drive me towards success. What's going to provide me some sense of satisfaction in life. Bliss and happiness. I know that this other thing, and you can name it, will fill me with a life full of well-being. And that's way better than engaging in. Go ahead, put your hands on your knees. Come to stillness. Take a deep breath in. Let it, let it out on the exhale with a sigh. Releasing any tightness, tension, stress from your body. Go ahead and have your eyes closed and do this on your own three more times. Take three more breaths. Okay, go ahead and take your last breath in. Another breath, a final breath. Exhale. Open your eyes if you had your eyes closed and come back to the karate chop point. Let's begin here again. And we're going to say, even though I have been running to fill in the blank or turning to this unsupportive activity or this habit as a comfort crutch, instead of filling the blank, running to this, which will actually nourish me. I completely love and accept myself. We can clean that up. Even though I have been running to fill in the blank as a comfort crutch, instead of turning to to nourish me, Even though I have been turning to, I have been running to, as a comfort crutch, instead of turning to, to nourish me, I completely love and accept myself. <laughs> you know, at least I'm able to acknowledge what I have been doing. But now I'm ready to move forward, I really am. Acknowledgement is the first step, understanding. And I understand now, I understand. But I understand that there's better for me. So I open myself up to releasing Every day, in every way, I easily let go of. It falls away harmoniously, easily, naturally. And I hardly even notice at all. Things that are unsupportive to my goals, habits that are unsupportive to my goals, easily fall away from me easily, naturally, and harmoniously. I open myself to up to releasing. because I truly don't need it anymore. I have 
other activities that truly nourish me that I would really rather engage in. My desire for success and accomplishment to achieve my goal is greater than my desire to engage in this habit. So I'm really coming to a place where every day in every way I easily release it and let it go. And let's come back to the karate chop for you. Say, and so it is, so it is, so it is. And take three more breaths. Bring your body to stillness, bring it to silence, and take three more of those deep breaths in, releasing each time on an exhale with the sigh. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this quick EFT session that you can use over and over again. You can fill in the blanks um, and you can use it to release an unsupportive habit. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notifications on all future videos. If you have gone through my entire EFT series, all of the videos that I have up so far, and you are enjoying yourself, um, and you are enjoying EFT, then go ahead and check out my EFT Masterclass series. It contains more than four hours of information and it, and it also has a workbook, a fillable workbook that comes along with it. Um, so I'm going to include the link to that in the description box below. You can go ahead and check that out. Make sure to also check out my Teachable, and it has all of my other courses and classes on there. In case there's some other tool or some area of life that you're working through, you can go ahead and see what I have to offer. So I will see you next time for the next EFT video in this series.